Ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to open the Insurance Europe Conference hosted by the Czech Association after two-year COVID break. This year's conference will look at ways to address protection gaps in insurance, in particular the ways to plan for and protect large impending risks. So let me make a few comments on this topic and the current situation. With the Russian aggression in Ukraine, we are experiencing major political and economic changes. This situation is a big challenge for Europe. It is a big challenge for the whole CE region and for my country too. I believe we, we are all well aware that the Ukrainians are fighting not only for their freedom, they are fighting for all of us. We must not stop helping them now when the initial shock is over. The whole Europe must continue to help. It is obvious the upcoming Czech EU presidency will be influenced by the geopolitical and economic consequences of the current war situation. The EU and the US are facing rising inflation and looming stagflation. I believe that we need the private sector, including the insurance industry, to play an active role in the economic recovery. With, the, with this in mind, we should be very careful when it comes to revising regulations. Businesses need a chance to properly implement the current regulation and to evaluate its impact. If we want businesses to innovate, if we want them to respond to societal challenges, we simply cannot trap them in the regulations. This is particularly true for the financial sector, including insurance. This conference is about protection gaps. Let me remind you of the tornado that hit our country a year ago. Insurance companies responded by immediately sending experts to, to the scene. I believe that the quick and effective reaction of the insurance companies made a great impression on our people. It has increased their trust on insurance, unlike, unlike the steps of government of the time who wanted support only those who did not have their property insured. Today, you will also talk about climate risk and how to insure them. I think even these new types of risk, which do not respect historical experience, will be manageable and insurable. And why they are not, the public sector and insurance companies must work together to find a way out. The public sector will also need to rely on private insurance when it comes to demographic changes. We need a public, financial, a public pension reform. We need to motivate people to consider making additional financial reserves for their retirement. We need to provide health care without compromising on its quality. Private finances must be added to the equation and the insurance sector has a crucial role to play here as an insurer, as an insurance, but also as an investor in infrastructure. Insurance companies should play a key role as investor in building our future. We need billions of euros invested in healthcare and affordable housing. Property prices in the Czech Republic have soared in the last decade. We want insurance companies to take responsibility and use their capital for the sake of our future. As a minister in a center-right government, I believe in creativity and efficiency of the private sector of businessmen. If we, if we set the right rules, if we act as an uh, independent referees and let me businesses work and, com and compete, we will get 
good results. This is why I am optimistic about the role you will play in our present and in our future. It is in our common interest to build a strong and resilient society in which people have the tools to take care of themselves, but which is also a society that help, helps to those who cannot. So thank you for your attention. Welcome to Prague and please accept my best wishes for a successful conference. Thank you.